Model transformations are the transformation of a more abstract model into a more concrete model. The basic motivation is that the abstract model is used as the basis for many transformations into different concrete models. The standard defined by the OMG for this paradigm is called model-driven architecture. The OMG propagates the MDA approach which consists of three stages, the CIM, PIM and PSM. The CIM, computational independent model, is comparable to the domain model or a business model. It helps to understand the problem domain and make it available to all persons involved. The PIM, platform independent model, is usually the starting point for an automatic model transformation. The PSM, platform specific model, is the result of a model transformation and contains all the details necessary to generate code that runs on a special platform. Model transformation in Enterprise Architect is technically a two-step process, but feels like a single step. During the transformation, the intermediate file is generated, which is then read again by EA to create a new model from it. Let's have a look at a simple transformation example from a PIM to PSM transformation. First, we create two packages called PIM and PSM in the project browser. Since the content of the PIM package is to be transformed into the PSM package, the PSM should not be included in the PIM. In the package PIM, I create a class diagram into which I now create a simple model. A class student has a supervised by association to a class professor. The multiplicity of the role ends are assigned an asterisk symbol, which means that one professor can supervise any number of students, and one student can be supervised by any number of professors. For transforming, we select the package PIM in the project browser and select Design Transform from the ribbon. In the list of transformation templates, select DDL and select a target package in the project browser. I select the PSM package. The configuration is now saved for the PIM package. Each time the transformation is executed, the content of the PIM is transformed into the previously configured target package, PSM package. And here we go. Here we see the result of the model-to-model -model transformation. In our case, we see three tables, which one table, which is called supervised by, represents the M2N relationship and its attributes, which are foreign keys of the professor table and student table representing the M2N relationship. The fact that the platform-specific model was generated from the platform-independent model links the model elements of the two packages. By selecting any model element from the PIM or PSM package, the traceability window displays the corresponding model element under the category transformed from or transformed to. This link is not a visible relationship in the diagram, but only a logical connection between the original model element and the model element transformed from it. This and many other exercises can be found in our book Compendium of Enterprise Architect. This paperback serves as the documentation and guide for UML with Enterprise Architect training, but is also excellent for self-study, delivery within Europe and worldwide.